Hi, my name is Sunny. Welcome to video three of the Gateway to Tarot series. I am so happy you are here. In video number one, we talked about how to choose your first deck. Video number two, we talked about keywords, how to choose them and how to use them. And in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down some ways to build your intuition how to use tarot to build your intuition. And I'm going to show you everything that I have in the High Priestess Tarot School to help you do just that. So the first recommendation I always give people when they want to increase their intuition is to start a daily mindfulness practice. This could mean meditation. This could mean presence. It doesn't take a lot of time or a lot of effort or energy to add some sort of mindfulness practice into your day. I currently like to be mindful when I wash my hands. I like to be mindful when I'm preparing meals and when I'm sitting down to eat my meals. Those are three times in my day that I'm going to have whether I practice mindfulness or not. So at the time that I am preparing meals, eating or washing my hands, I'm concentrating on my breath. I'm concentrating on the present moment and I am really experiencing the phys physical sensation of whatever it is that I'm doing. If I'm chopping the vegetables, I'm listening to the knife on the board. I am listening to the sizzle in the pans. I'm smelling the food as it's cooking, et cetera. So know that you don't have to sit with your eyes closed for 30 minutes to meditate. Mindfulness is enough to create that space for intuition to come in. And the more you practice mindfulness, the more intuition will come in. Doing mindfulness exercises, meditation, and grounding prior to doing your readings can help to create more space for intuition. And also, you can always take a breath in the middle of a reading to make space for a little intuition. One of the things that I feel really block us from the intuition when we're starting reading is not feeling confident with your interpretations, feeling a little bit out of over your head, feeling overwhelmed by all the meanings in the book. I think those are some things that stand in the way. Second questioning yourself, not trusting yourself or your intuition can also get in the way. So working actively to feel confident, to keep practicing, to understand that you are just a beginner. I think that the beginner's mindset really helps a lot with this too, because instead of feeling like at day one, you should already know it all. You're in it for the journey, for the long haul, knowing that it's going to take some time and effort and practice in order to get to where you want to go. In the High Priestess Tarot School, we have a module that is all about strengthening your intuition. So first we talk about developing a mindfulness practice. With every lesson or module, you'll almost always find some sort of resource to help you with that step. So the first step in strengthening your intuition you'll see is, is mindfulness, trusting that inner voice. There's also a workbook to help you do that. In this workbook, you are encouraged to develop your own mindfulness practice. There's some ideas for you here. And there's also some affirmations when it comes to your intuition. Having that positive view of your intuition is really important. And at the end of this workbook is the mindfulness tracker. This tracker can be used every week for you to track a few different mindfulness techniques. So you can see a spot where you put the week, you can see three different techniques that you might be trying. And there's lots of ideas here for you to try. You can also go outside of this worksheet as well and use other techniques. And then this is a place for you to track whether or not you did it and how well it went for you in that week. Keeping this at the top of your mind is going to help you transition to a place where mindfulness is less of a task and more of something that you're being all of the time. Next in this model is strengthening your intuition. I give you tips and tricks for unlocking your intuition. I also have an unlock your intuition meditation and 25 printable affirmation cards to help you stay on track with your intuition. 
We also have this guide to exploring the five clairs where you'll be able to identify which communication method is strongest for you when it comes to your intuition and how to uh, increase that specific type of intuition. I recommend that you increase the type of intuition you already have instead of trying to increase the ones that you maybe aren't necessarily as gifted at. And then next, we have trusting your intuition. And then there's also a bonus training, three ways to use tarot to strengthen your intuition. One of these ways is to do daily readings for yourself and to look back on your readings journal so that you can see the intuitive insights that you had, or maybe you didn't quite connect the dots yet, but over the next days or weeks, maybe you'll be able to look back and say, oh, that's what that meant. And so in, in this, I have a video instruction about how to use this daily practice and also this workbook where you can journal your readings for set an intention for your intuition, take some action, make a commitment to yourself to practice mindfulness and journal your readings. And I'd love to hear back on exactly what happens for you. In the next video, I will be asking Q&A questions from our community. And I will also be showing you the entirety of the portal so you can get a feel for everything that's inside. Wishing you the best in your intuition, and I will see you in the next one.